Hey, this is Tom from WTFFF 3D Printing Podcast and 3D Start Point. And I am really excited because we finally got our hands on the CEL Robox Dual 3D Printer. This is something that we saw 18 months ago, well, more than 18 months ago now, but more, you know, quite a while ago at CES in January of 2016. And one thing or another, it never came to pass, but we finally got one. They shipped it to us, and I've got it here, and I'm going to take it out of the box with you right now in this video, and then I'm going to have a series of videos about using it and, you know, setting it up and, um, you know, getting into the details. So I'm going to adjust my camera here. Forgive me for that, and you're probably going to see a little more of my middle here as I do this. I'll try to prevent that, but this is the box. I found this quite interesting. Uh, on the outside of the box it says micro manufacturing platform. I actually really like that. That it, you know they think of themselves as not just a 3D printer. Now in the box we've got a inner box of I'm sure parts and things. We'll go through that. And then I find this interesting. Um, it's it's well packaged um, with some, you know, paperboard formed end caps to protect it. But it's also in a in a bag, which I haven't really seen before. So I'm gonna get rid of the box and check out what we got. Oh, seems that it's maybe backwards. So. I remember at CES I was really impressed with the small footprint of this 3D printer and I, I'm you know now recalling you know as we saw it there uh, it is really impressive it appears to be made of uh, aluminum here on the sides wow it's really nice quality aluminum and uh, also plastic and we've got some tape uh, holding the doors closed. There's some clips inside as you would typically expect to keep the gantry stable while you're uh, keep the gantry stable while you're uh, in transportation and then uh, it seems we have a filament mount here and uh, of course there's a way you can install two um, you know two filaments to print at once. It's a dual 3D printer and we're very excited about that. It seems I may have, yep, looks like uh, a little foot came off here, so I think I can just pop that back on. Um, I'll make that happen in a minute. So, um, definitely gonna go through the instructions here and, and check it all out. So, get it ready to go. So, we've got a Let's see, it looks like a warranty card and a quick start guide. I was hoping they would have a quick start guide. So let's see, I'm experiencing this for the first time right here on this video with you. So package contains USB cable, power cable, flash drive, and tweezers. It looks like it says bed wipes for I guess the, the uh, print uh, build plate. A set of four cleanup tools. I don't know what that is. Axis lubricant and then a smart reel. So it looks like it may communicate with the spools of filament. A safety guide and a warranty card. So it says uh, take it out of the box. Of course, I always find it's funny they say take it out of the box when you can't get these instructions till you've already taken it out of the box. But uh, is what it is. So far, I did everything properly. Remove the tape used to secure the door, which, of course, I figured I would need to do. Remove the 3D printed packing clip. Oh, wow, isn't that interesting? It's kind of like a garage door um, where it doesn't just lift up, it actually lifts up and, and moves to the back, which is kind of nice. But it wants me to remove this clip, which may not be obvious. Let me see. Remove the packing clip. 
that was printed on this machine as a final test of using the printer. That's neat that they, they did that. So how does one remove this clip properly? It doesn't really tell you how to remove it. Remove that clip. Well, let's see. Looks like it just is snapped on to the it looks like it's just snapped on to the uh, the guide rails that go from side to side on these sort of over center uh, you know C-shaped clips so that's done and it says make sure that the print head is free to move and make sure that the bed is free to move which it appears to be front to back and side to side it says to move them both by hand to check, so that was okay. And then it gives you just a guided tour of all the different components here. There's a diagram. And then, let's see, if I'm doing things in order, it's telling me to install their software. And attach the USB cable, plug it in, load filament, and there's something about preparing filament and installing the reel. So I'm going to go through a little bit of this in detail, read it, and make sure I understand it. And then I will come back and actually um, video myself going through that process of installing filament and getting it going so that you can uh, see that. And I'll maybe I'll try to get the camera zoomed in a little more here so you can see in more detail. But anyway. Getting started with the CEL Robux dual 3D printer. I'm super excited. Come back for the next video. Thanks a lot.